Hey, you shot here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate the Tourmaster Sierra Peak glove. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and tell you about a set of gloves from Tourmaster, do us both a favor, subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. It's only gonna take you a second, and that way you stay up to date on the latest gear coming your way. We're always working hard for you to, of course, educate you and bring you that first look at all the motorcycle gear you can handle. If you subscribe, you won't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you can do so by simply shopping with us. We make it real easy to spend your money with an independent company instead of one of those corporate monoliths. There's going to be a link in the description below that'll take you right over to the Tourmaster Sierra Peak gloves at speedaddicts.com. While you're over there, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Speaking of adventure, Tourmaster, they make touring and adventure gear at very affordable prices, but they are not a fly-by-night company. They make quality products. They've been around for decades. Just so happens they are value focused. So the Sierra Peak is a short perforated adventure or sport touring glove with a hard carbon knuckle here. It comes in multiple colorways. It's going to be $59 and actually has real den animal on it. So this is not just synthetic leather. You're going to have a goat hide palm and then a bovine leather uh, back of the hand. Women's sizes are available. Tourmaster is really good about that. This is part of their Horizon line. So if you're looking for women's gear, you will find it in the Sierra Peak size range, small through four extra large. When you're measuring for climb or sorry, Tourmaster gloves, Tourmaster sizing chart for gloves works in a um, a single linear measurement across your palm here, not a circumference. So you're just gonna measure across the thickest part of your palm with a ruler, get that number. I'm at four inches, so I am recommended for the size large, which fits me like a glove. You guessed it. I'm gonna beat that joke to death here. I'm sorry if you're watching a lot of our glove videos in a row. I'm a dad now, so I make dad jokes. Here we are. So it fits great right out of the package. We have stretch material between the fingers, so not a lot of break in. It will stretch a bit because we do have the goat hide palm construction, but really out of the box, pre-curved fingers fits very well. Go by the sizing chart, it is true. Now, if you're running any sort of fitment and you shopped at Speed Addicts, you don't have to worry because we got your back with no cost returns. That's right, we don't nickel and dime you on return shipping like those other guys, you know who I'm talking about. It's gonna be really easy if you need to return or exchange something, a couple clicks at our returns portal, and we will make sure to treat you like family. To qualify for no cost returns, you have to live in the lower 48 states and make sure the gear is brand new in original condition. Back to the Sierra Peak glove. Let's work our way from the back over to the palm. So you notice this is uh, partially mesh up on the top of the chassis here, but most of the back of the glove is actually perforated bovine leather with Plenty of um, armor inserts across all of your digits here. So you have TPR down here, and then we work our way up into a kind of a harder plastic, which is a, a thermoplastic polyurethane with kind of that carbon fiber print underneath it on the second digit. And then working our way backwards, we have a hard plastic knuckle protector. Underneath here, there's a fair amount of padding, so it's not uncomfortable or riding awkwardly on my on the back of my hand sometimes that happens with these hard plastic protectors so this is in great shape if you're going to do adventure riding you're going to go off road a little bit you're going to take a branch or god forbid you come off the machine you have lots of back of the hand protection here especially for a glove at this 59 dollars price point as you work your way further back you notice that new or um, new tour master sorry we're doing a lot of adventure gear lately uh, new Tour Master Horizon Line logo, and then we have a neoprene, like our rib neoprene stretch cuff on this. One thing that's really interesting is they built in this extra gusset here that is got a zipper to open this up. Underneath is more mesh material. It's going to allow more airflow. It actually allows your hand to come back a lot more. So if you are going to get off road for a little bit, you're going to be standing up on your pegs. Maybe the, your wrist angle is going to change or you just want less binding, especially on your throttle side, you can open this up, get more airflow, and get a little bit more flex out of the back of the glove. YKK zippers, this one is self-locking, so it kind of stays out of your way. As you roll it over, you're going to see the mesh material here. It's a nylon stretch, and uh, it makes the glove just fit real nice right out of the box. So 
um, that's between all of your fingers. It's also going to promote airflow. Now the difference between this and some of the other tour mat, they have a very similar format uh, tour master glove. What's it called again, producer Matt? We don't remember. I don't remember. It's here, guys. The trail brake. It's the trail brake. We're gonna do that video too. So the trail brake is pretty much an identical glove, but it has none of the perforation. So if you're riding in warmer to mild temperatures, go with Sierra Peak. If you're more in mild to cooler temperatures, go with the trail brake. They are the same glove for all intents and purposes just without that perforation. As we roll it over, we have the stretch, more stretch here. We have a, a foam thumb protector, more perforation across the thumb, and your main entry point is just a very simple Velcro strap across here. No awkward seams or binding or weirdness across the cuff because they did use that neoprene and it's relatively comfortable. Now that we're on the palm, the first thing you're gonna notice is that there are smart screen compatible touch pads on the index finger and on the thumb. So if you're using your phone for navigation or you need to open that up, make a call or message uh, between sessions, you will be able to do so without a problem. More perforation, small perforation across your fingertips, keep your hands cool. And then we have these go um, hide double layers with double stitching across those high wear zones where the handlebar is going to make contact with the glove. It's gonna make it hold up a whole lot longer. Now, one of the more interesting things about the Sierra Peak and that trail brake glove I'm talking about from Tour Master is going to be these super fabric inserts. Maybe if I can get that a bit closer, you see those little bumps? Those are actually ceramic beads that are inside, and that's a super fabric is actually a third party um, a material that Tour Master is partnered with for this glove. Now this stuff is nice because it promotes sliding. And sliding is important if you come off your machine because it prevents joint injuries, hopefully. If your glove hits the asphalt and sticks, it tends to cause that joint injury because your whole body's gonna go over the sticky part, right? Now if that super fabric promotes that sliding across the surface, you'll hopefully do more of a baseball slide and protect your joints. That's why you see hard plastic pucks, so all sorts of different solutions for this, but the super fabric is a nice one and it actually holds up quite well to uh, any sort of sliding or impacts. So also on the pinky, you do have a pinky insert here. It's gonna promote uh, or protect your pinky, another critical wear point there if you come off the machine. And then basically the whole back of your hand is doubled up with a foam wrist protector up at the top two-year warranty on the Sierra Peak. A lot of protection for $59. It's a great fitting glove. It's a pretty easy decision. If you're trying to shop for an adventure or sport touring glove, you're trying to keep it you know, well under that $100 mark, the Tourmaster Sierra Peak should be in the conversation. You still got questions, writer support is standing by at speedaddicts.com, or you can always talk to a human over the phone, emails, or live chat. If you got a Sierra Peak, sound off down below. That's all I got for you. Take care. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.